Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Mm. Oh, good one. No, it's not. Just hit it funny. I wanted him to be good. So bad. Plain and simple, one of the reasons that this bait is so effective isn't just the color and it's lifelike, it actually hunts down there. When you watch this little bait go through the water, it really kicks from side to side. A lot of crankbaits will work along and they'll just be like, ting, 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 ting. This thing will ting, 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 and ting, off to the side. That little hunting action drives those fish crazy. They're chasing it down, they're following it, they're looking at it, it kicks off, they think it's gonna get away, and they eat it. Oh, there's another one. Oh my, look at this. I think I gotta shave the beard. It's the scruff, it's turning me into Al Linder. Another eye, a giant eye. I'm bass fishing and catching some walleyes. As you can see, whether it's a walleye or a bass, they both love to munch that craw crank. Better one, big fish, big fish. Oh, it's just got one hook. Mm, man, one hook. Wow, getcha. Woo. Man, oh man. It may have just been one tiny little hook in them, but it was enough to put this bad boy in Ooh. the boat. When these things decide to eat, it's game over. It's munch munch time. And this guy decided munching bunches of the craw crank. What an awesome, awesome critter. Find a back lake, tie on a crayfish imitating bait, whether it's a craw crank or a flipping jig. And this bad boy is precisely the kind of fish you're gonna get. Oh. 